So what is going on guys, Fly here, and today I'm bringing you guys my third GTA 5 Online San Andreas Flight School update video of the day. So this one's actually going to be on the topic of the new helicopter which is named the Buckingham Swift. This comes in a variety of different colours, and I'm going to be breaking it down, explaining what I think of it, some different things you need to know about it, and much much more. So, before we get into it, make sure to go and leave a like down below if you guys do end up enjoying the video, as it really does help me out. Now let's go. So this Buckingham Swift was actually a returning vehicle from the GTA 4 expansion pack named the Ballad of Gay Tony. It's very much modelled off that one, it looks pretty much identical, and I for one am a fan of it. There hasn't really been a vehicle in this update that I haven't liked. You can see the two videos that I've posted earlier today, both on the new Miljet and the Western Bezra. Now I really do like this chopper for more reasons than just one. Now, first off, you can actually retract the landing gear on this. This is the first helicopter in this game where you can retract the landing gear as and when you please. It does make it speed up quite a lot as it does reduce drag like any other of the planes in the game. When you retract the landing gear on any of those, that massively helps reduce drag and you do speed up quite considerably. Nothing changes on the Swift like this, it's very much the same. You of course go a lot faster when you have nothing there to prevent any airflow of passing straight under you. Now the Swift is actually very swift, it's a very very quick moving chopper. And it's also very good at hovering like you're going to see uh, in this clip here, I don't know whenabouts it's going to be. But I hover around here and you can see that it's actually pretty good at what it does. You can quite easily land without the landing gear, that's not really an issue, but it's not really recommended. You of course have the wheels for a reason. Now more so on the aesthetics of it, it comes in I think two different paint jobs. You have this classic black one, and you also have one that's kind of a mix of a grey silver with a reddish thing, where it will have yellow text down the side of it. It's more of a army kind of designed one, and I quite like the look of that, but just in the single player I have this just kind of classic black one here. You can see from this clip that it's actually a really long helicopter, it's exceptionally long, probably one of the longest in the game. Even the Annihilator is, I think, only about the same size of that, and it's very, very powerful. It, of course, has chain guns on either side. This thing will clock in in GTA Online at the very high price of $1.5 million if you go for the classic black look, or for $1.6 million, so that's 1,600,000, you can get the grey and red with the yellow text look on it. I personally prefer the black one just because it looks a bit more, I don't know, it looks a bit more secret service kind of thing, I don't really know where I'm going with this, it's just kind of a darker colour and I quite like the look of that. Whereas I do think the other one looks very nice, but this is just my favourite one of the two. So I would definitely recommend getting this chopper if you can afford it online, I see a lot of people buying shark cards at the minute because a lot of people want this new jet and they want this new chopper as it is very very fast. I'm looking forward to doing some helicopter races in it and I'm really looking forward to picking up my friends in it. Now it does only have 4 seats, I was hoping that it may have 6 considering how big it is, but no it only has 4 and I think the Annihilator is the only one that has any more than that with spaces for 6 people. So, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Make sure to subscribe to see all of the other videos that I'm going to be releasing today and over the course of the next couple of days on this new San Andreas Flight School DLC. Go and leave a like down below if you'd like to support more videos like this and follow me on Twitter to which there's a link in the description down below for more information on this update and stuff that I don't always air on this channel. There's going to be some new pictures, some talks, my opinions on different things and you'll be able to catch up with me a lot more on a personal level if you follow me on Twitter. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching, my name's been Fly, signing out.